They said that despite the destruction caused by the antimatter legion, the history of those they come across would remain in some form or another, and their memory would live on. Lest they come upon the followers of Mythos, the Enigmata. In this video, we're going to talk about the followers of the path of the Enigmata, known as the history fictionologists, the Riddlers, and of course, we're gonna talk about Mythos himself. So let's get right to it. Before we even talk about the Enigmata, know that any and all information within this video may or may not be true, as is the case with all things when dealing with the Enigmata. For the Aeon himself, Mythos is an Aeon that is shrouded in falsehoods, lies, and obscurations, as the Path of Enigmata believes that history should be obscured, and the mysteries of the universe must never be known and always be questioned. It is this belief that makes it an enemy to the erudition who believes that everything must be known. The Enigmata believes that it is a fallacy that all things can be experienced and recognized, that entities that are finite are incapable and should not be able to envision true infinity, that everything must remain enigmatic. Which as mentioned goes against everything the erudition stands for, which is to learn about everything. Now interestingly, like the Erudition's Genius Society, the Enigmata also has a group of emanators that serve it, known as the History Fictionologists. Individuals who encountered the Enigmata are enlightened by it, becoming emanators. They witness the power of mystery, believing that the past will determine the future, finding that calculation and the power to see the future or the progress of a civilization neuters its possibilities for growth. For if one foresees its inevitable future, then the path that one would take would only be a sad and rigid one, unable to challenge the unknown future. So in order to save these kinds of civilizations from objectivity, the followers of the Enigmata are able to shroud the universe in mystery, and quite literally consume the collective consciousness of a civilization, altering its past and its future. These emanators destroy history using altruism as their reason for doing so. They do not believe in objective facts and are disgusted by such opinions. And honestly, with the power granted unto them by their eon, facts may not be the truth when a fictionologist is involved. But unfortunately, the power these emanators hold are very difficult to monitor and discern, as they can change the very narrative of the past kind of like a retcon power. Their power sort of works like the Mandela effect, where an observed phenomenon in which a large segment of a population misremembers a significant event or shares a memory of an event that actually did not occur. But they are capable of changing this reality or simply erasing it, which then triggers a butterfly effect of unknown possibilities. These changes are also extremely difficult to notice and it is only after careful observation that worlds are beginning to realize the irreversible and intangible damage these emanators have caused to civilizations and their culture. It is said that across the galaxy, history fictionologists have a reputation comparable to that of the Antimatter Legion. The Intelligentia Guild has even publicly denounced them to the point of saying that they have done worse damage to the universe than the Antimatter Legion. That while the Antimatter Legion destroys matter, the history fictionologists destroy the very universe itself. Now, we actually get a taste of their power within the simulated universe, where we meet a history fictionologist within an opulent library. The Emanator simply asks us, or rather Akivili the Trailblazer, what kind of history it is that we wish to change. Changing the record of the past so as to enhance the future of the blessing we chose. What's also a little alarming is that like the first meeting we have with Aha the Elation, the Emanator recognizes that we are in a simulated world, and bids you not to doubt any contradictions beyond the simulated world created by codes as he himself has changed things beyond even the simulated universe. And finally, he even mentions that he himself is not simulated. We also find that Herta herself has come into contact with a fictionologist or at least one of their curios, known as the parchment that always eats, 
It is also a good reference to the power of the emanators of the Enigmata. The parchment itself feeds on the history of humanity, or whatever civilization it is let loose on. It consumes the collective subconscious of the civilization, causing confusion and allowing the fictionologist to alter the events within the subconscious of that civilization. In order to combat this, Herta forges false memories of a world for the parchment to devour. But ominously, it also mentions that the parchment will eventually find out about these lies. Now, while the history fictionologists target history itself, there is another group that follows the Enigmata that targets an entirely different form of culture in the form of language. They are known, funnily enough, as the Riddlers. They work to undermine the clarity of languages, deconstructing texts, creating confusing metaphors, altering word order, and tampering with definitions as to disorganize precise languages. These Riddlers are exactly as they sound, and if you've ever heard of the Riddler from Batman, Edward Nigma or Enigma, then they pretty much operate the same way. Members of the Riddlers often come from fields such as poets, painters, con artists, and even occult monks. Having reached a great point in their respective fields, they attract the attention of the Aeon of Enigmata, who enlightens them to the folly of their art turning the artistic individuals into an incomprehensible group who spouts ridiculous, incoherent falsehoods. These followers are obsessed with destroying the certainty of language. Words with clear meanings are obfuscated when used by the Riddlers, causing confusion and misunderstandings in otherwise easy-to-follow conversations. Unfortunately for them though, with the synesthesia beacons created by Elias Salas, which translates all languages using multiple senses being provided to the public by the Intelligentia Guild, and with the work of the School of Synesthesia overcoming language barriers within the universe, the Riddlers have a harder time confusing people with their altering of languages. Hence why the Riddlers are not as prominent as the history fictionologists despite their actions still having a subtle yet huge impact on the universe, as it is due to their actions that there are little to no pure and precise languages in the galaxy. And finally, though the history fictionologists are a small group as most of them are emanators just like the genius society, their power may be one that should be evoked with careful thought. I mean they literally have the power to retcon the universe, which makes everything all the more confusing. But that's it for them, what do you guys think? Are these guys created solely to provide retcons in the future? Or are they a force to be reckoned with within the universe of Star Rail? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you liked that video, please do hit the like button. And if you think I deserve it, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching.